Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're playing Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the latest in the Star Wars games, and I wanted to give you uh, my first impressions. Now keep in mind before we start, I just don't have a lot of faith in EA right now, and especially with their Star Wars games, um, but I still wanted to support this game because it is a, a Jedi title, a single player Jedi title, and so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, and so the last major Jedi title we got um, as a Star Wars title was Force Unleashed 2, which, which both Force Unleashed were pretty well received. They did well in sales. Um, I loved those games, and so I was worried that this was going to be kind of the same game, but you're like basically a less powerful version of that just because of the different gameplay I've seen. But it's actually not that. Now, I think if you do like Force Unleashed, you will like this game, but this is much more um, of a Dark Souls kind of vibe. I don't want to credit it to being like Dark Souls, but it's definitely inspired by that type of action um, path type of gameplay, and I'll show you what I mean. First of all, I'm at a meditation point, aka a bonfire, um, and this is where you can basically uh, <clears throat> change your skills and everything. Uh, as far as your lightsaber and the force and health and stuff like that. In addition, you can rest, which will reset your health bar and your force bar, but it resets all of the enemies in the world. If you play Dark Souls, this kind of sounds familiar to you. So we're just going to go out. Another thing is, if you remember Jedi, or excuse me, not Jedi Outcast, that's a game from way back in the day. If you remember Force Unleashed, um, Force Unleashed, it was a single path game. It had one path from front to end. It was kind of like a classic action uh, stage game where you go through a stage um, like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's from A to B, and maybe there's some secrets, but there's not a whole lot of exploration. Well, this game, it's not like that. This is more, again, like Dark Souls where you have the stage, but it's more open world. There's different paths, there's different uh, things you have to do and there's not one single path to get from A to B and you you have to um, Unlock different areas and another way I could um, Compare it to is Metroid which IGN compared a little bit to Metroid with the way that you scan creatures and find out their vulnerabilities but I'm gonna compare it to Metroid as in you have to go to places and um, Unlock new skills in order to unlock new areas in the world um, so, there, initially I was a little bit annoyed with this game because the very first stage is just a lot of climbing, um, and it, at, at first it was like, okay, this is pretty cool, they're trying to show us this new mechanic, which climbing and platforming is a huge thing in this game. Well, it got really old quick and I was like, man, I swear if this is the way this game is gonna be, um, from now on, I am not playing this thing. But as soon as I got to this stage, it completely changed. Um, you know, and there's a great balance of pretty easy puzzles, but easy puzzles, platforming, and combat. And the combat in this game is, it's not hack and slash as you think it would be. It's a lot of blocking, dodging, and parrying, um, which to me is a combination of Dark Souls and Sekiru, which is both made, made by um, From Software. But yeah, it's, Hacking and slashing in this game won't get you very far. It's very, it's very much about technique. And like on trash mobs like these, as long as I block, they shouldn't be able to do damage to me. And you can block from any side in this game. Um, you do, I don't really have that many force powers right now, but you do have force powers. Um, and so we're just gonna hack and slash. And so I, I did get hit there, but you know, like that's the idea not to get hit. I'm playing on, by the way, I'm playing on Jedi Knight difficulty. Um, I did start on the highest difficulty, but um, because I am a Dark Souls fan, but the problem is that the parrying, in my opinion, the parrying in this game is not very responsive on the highest difficulty. And so maybe, hopefully we'll see a patch. Like if you're gonna have that high of a difficulty and it re relies solely on parrying, then it needs to be very responsive for the player. Shadow, get away from that door. Sorry, I had to yell at my dog. Um, so that's my one issue, but I'm still enjoying it playing it on the Jedi Knight difficulty. Um, as far as the lightsaber combat, I only have the basic combo, but it's still kind of cool. Um, it's definitely different style than you're used to. It's, as far as the, 
it's a lot or as far as this as far as like the stance it's a lot less elegant than you're used to with lightsaber combat it's very kind of wild but it's interesting um and then you have special lightsaber abilities that use force he baited me that use force in order to use them so like that it's a one shot for that overhead slash is a one shot for trash mobs but then again i took hits like that's the whole thing is you don't want to take hits um and then you have this the, the robot companion um oh i just wasted a stim i also just got ambushed but you also have the robot companion and where is the i had the bd1 trying to figure out where the map is oh there it is okay and then he has the map of the world and it kind of shows you where you need to go but anyway first impressions um to me I definitely see myself playing this game front to end now that I'm actually in a proper stage. Again, if you buy this game, I, I really think that the very first stage is gonna be annoying, but if you can stomach that and get past it, you're gonna start to really enjoy it. If you guys have questions, please ask. Again, I just started, just wanna give these first impressions. Overall positive, um, and hope to start enjoying this game a lot more. Uh, please subscribe and until next time. Thanks for watching